What's up guys? So this video is going to teach you how to help prevent knee pain and some exercises you can do to make your life a lot easier. And so you get most of, the most out of exercise and maybe even rehabilitate, rehabilitate your knees so you're not feeling the pain that you normally would. So anytime that we have a joint problem, it's not usually the joint, it's usually the muscles around it. So it can be the foot, it can be the ankle, it can be the quads, it can be the glutes. So anything around that can actually be causing a knee issue. So we're going to address all of them very quickly. One thing that you want to do that a lot of adults have problems with is they sit down the other day, this little part right here where your hamstring attaches to your leg gets almost where it just locks up, where it just won't even work anymore as you get older and you just sit down, go on long car drives, things like that. So you just want to sit on one of these spiky rollers since this is a pretty dense muscle group and just hang out right there. So I think you can handle that, right? Just, uh, just sit there. You'll notice when that muscle, if it's tight and you're sitting on it right, you want to make this uncomfortable. If it's not, if it's comfortable, then you need to move around and find that position or where that knot is so you can get that muscle to release. After two or three minutes, you'll notice that it will, and then you can start doing some mini rolls on it back and forward. Then you can advance to where you are crossing the knee over the hip, so you've got a stretch in this glute, and then you're back and forth on top of that glute, breaking that tissue up right, right there. And that's just gonna allow you to move better and um, move with less limitations. So another thing you're gonna do is make sure that we address the IT band. That's a huge problem for a lot of people that are runners um, or have ran previously. You can do it two ways. You can use a PVC pipe and just roll up and down the leg. You're hitting all the different areas. We call this seek and destroy. So what that means is you are trying to seek out knots in your muscles, areas that's gonna feel like little bruises and destroy them. You're trying to break that tissue up. Another way you can do this is a little bit more advanced because your body weight is on it. One leg straight, other leg is crossed, using this other hand. This also is a good warm-up for the shoulder since you're moving in and out. But you are down towards the knee and up to the hip. You're not rolling over any joints, you're just rolling over the muscle group, so make sure you're doing that. Um, that's gonna help out with the IT band problem, the side of the leg. You'll know what areas you need to hit because they're gonna be very painful. The shin is another area that can cause problems. So you point the toes, you get this uh, child pose position, roll backwards and forwards. And then you can also hit the, uh, the calves as well. Calves don't always cause knee problems, but they can. And you will notice if you can't touch your calf and it's not squishy feeling, and it's got a lot of tightness to it, that is definitely a problem. I feel a knot right there. So you just wanna spend some time on it, lay on it for a little bit, let that muscle release, go mini rolls, and then go big rolls after that. Another thing that can be causing problems with the knee is actually the foot, oddly enough. If the foot's not working right, you know, it's, it's going to cause some problems up here and shift the knee around. And when you're squatting, it's going to turn the knee in and out, and that is going to make you develop problems over time. So you're going to use the spikes. You can roll this. The best way to do this is if you got a golf ball on some carpet. So you got the golf ball on the ground, carpet, rolling back over the foot. It works a lot better than the foam roller because you can get in those little bitty areas. Now, that's a way to make you feel better and break up some of those pipes and tight tissues. There's some movements that you need to be doing during the workouts instead of just walking lunges, jumping lunges, those things. I'm gonna show you how to modify those. So one thing you wanna be doing to rehabilitate the knees is to make sure we're working the inner thighs. So doing movements where we're working glutes and inner thighs is huge. So just doing squeezes right here is a great movement for you. You can do a squeeze with a glute raise, so now I'm squeezing the glutes and I'm flexing the inner thighs. Um, obviously core work's important, so Doing sit-ups and squeezing those inner thighs is another combination that you can do. And this movement is going to get the heart rate up a little bit more, and it's also going to really get the glutes firing, which is definitely important to get your knees to stop hurting during workouts. So just back, back and forth, side-to-side -side movements. You can get low as a modification and more of a squat type movement there. Really going to get the glutes firing. The, uh, a great way to get the quads is doing a reverse sled pull. So you grab it and you shove it on his feet. The good thing about this is you're getting that knee extension, but you're not having to get in a deep squat or lunge just putting a lot of pressure on the knees. Now, if you're doing lunges or jumping lunges, definitely the vibes, bent, and squats as well. You hold on to the TRX. Arms locked. That TRX is allowing your hips to get easily into a deep squat position and it's dropping your hips back automatically. Same thing with a lunge or reverse lunge as well. That's gonna help you stabilize and also balance so your knees got some stability there. Now for my people that are more advanced, they have the strength to do these exercises, but their knee just gives them problems. This is a great movement in place of walking lunges. So 
a split squat lunge, you just have to make sure you have something here for balance and your knee, you're sliding backwards in that movement. So your knee never moves forward. So if you get on this and do this, you got knee problems, that's gonna cause some more knee problems. You have to slide backward in the movement and then get up. It's a great way to put a lot of tension on, that, on those leg, hamstring, glutes, and muscles. So you're getting a lot of muscular development there without causing knee problems. One other squat setup that you can do, which creates a, uh, a really low impact environment, is putting the band on the upper and mid back. You can go hands here, you can do overhead squat in this position. You can even jump a little bit because you're going to absorb in and out, but it's allowing you to lean back almost like you are in a hack squat position. So you're really able to get a deep squat out of that without it bothering the knees. So those are some modifications you can make during the workouts. As you're doing some movements, you have knee problems, you help straighten those up. And then the main thing though is the foam rolling. If you're doing that three times a week, it's gonna make a big benefit. If you're doing it once every other week, it's not gonna do anything except you help you feel better during that day, right? So you gotta do that consistently. That's what's gonna be the key to you getting better and getting your knee where it's not hurting during the workouts.